Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Strange Wonders. As always, I'm your host, Mr. G. And today, we're talking about everyone's favorite migratory fish. Besides blue sharks. No, it's salmon, everybody. Salmon are a group of fish that are part of the salmon family, which also includes trout. They're often mistaken for salmon, but the one key difference is that trout are purely freshwater, but salmon... Well, we'll get back to that. For the most part, salmon don't have much to talk about in terms of diet or things like that. The thing that makes salmon interesting is their lifestyle, which has endlessly fascinated ichthyologists. You see, salmon are officially saltwater fish, but they're born in freshwater. Once born, they spend some time in the rivers before maturing, then they make a march to the sea. Once there, they spend most of their life as saltwater fish. But once they fully mature, they are ready to lay eggs. Once salmon reach their full maturity, they leave the ocean and head back to the exact same stream where they were born. And this is not an easy journey. They have to deal with waterfalls, which they can jump over thanks to their powerful fin muscles. And, uh, even worse, predators. Most predators near the streams they live have caught on to this migration, so whenever it happens, they stake out the rivers they spawn at and wait for the salmon to come to them. Bald eagles, grizzly bears, otters, and more are all obstacles the salmon have to deal with if they want to have babies. And most salmon do not survive the journey. The ones that do, however, end up changing to their final life form, where their faces become more hooked, they develop a hunch on their back, and some species even become a bright red. But after the long journey of hundreds of miles, waterfalls, and bears, the survivors reach the place they were born and lay and fertilize all of their eggs. And then they die from exhaustion shortly afterwards because of how rough the trip was. The eggs then hatch and the cycle repeats anew. The salmon migration is considered one of the greatest migrations in the animal kingdom, as these little fish make an incredible journey just to have babies. And plus, salmon are an important species in the ecosystem, as their predators get more food than they usually do during the rest of the year during the migrations, so it helps fatten bears up for winter and things like that. And the corpses left behind after the predators are finished eating them acts as fertilizer for the ground. So yeah, the salmon, a very respectable species. Hard time. Hard's fine. Human and salmon go way back. As for a millennia now, salmon have been a very popular food source for humans. In every migration season, many anglers gather around to capture fresh salmon. But even year-round salmon's a popular food, with salmon farms being a thing so we don't have to wait for the migration to get a hold of them. Uh, but also, humans have had an impact on the salmon migration with things like dams. There have been beaver dams that salmon have had to migrate before, but not the giant concrete walls that uh, humans have made. In fact, some rivers have just straight up stopped having salmon come to them because of dams and things like that, preventing salmon from reaching the sea or the river. So, yeah, the, the, those groups got wiped out. But hey, salmon as a whole, they're still doing pretty fine. So, yeah, that's all for this episode of Strange Wonders. It was nice to have a break from simians. And next time we're going right back to them. Great. Goodbye, everybody.